Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. And we are continuing looking at Solomon's story. And we are in 1 Kings 10. And this chapter talks about how the Queen of Sheba comes and visits Solomon as she has heard of his great wisdom and wealth. And as she comes and visits with him, she is amazed. And it says she has no breath in her to describe uh, his wisdom and wealth. Uh, and the rest of the chapter describes uh, his wealth and riches. Uh, throughout this chapter, uh, we can see, though, that Solomon begins to break every single command that God had given to the king, except for one, which he does in the following chapter. Uh, and so we can see as how his wealth grows and his fame grows, he gets distracted from following God. And he becomes arrogant and starts to uh, be dependent on his own wisdom and might instead of being dependent on God and his strength and his wisdom <clears throat> and his might. Uh, this is a warning for us as well, as we need to be dependent completely on God, not on our self and become prideful and arrogant thinking that we can live life on our own away from God, not being dependent on material things or what other people think of us, uh, because this is the downfall of Solomon. You can see uh, it started in the last chapter, it continues in this chapter, and the next chapter is the downfall of Solomon because he chose to stop depending on God and started to find his self-worth uh, and everything he was living for in himself and in his possessions and everything that God had warned against. There was a reason that God gave those warnings to the kings. Uh, he didn't want them to be like every other king in the surrounding nations. They were supposed to be set apart and different and to be holy because they were God's people and they were being dependent on God and not the worldly things. And so we have a choice to make in our own lives. Are we going to pursue the things of this world that distract us from following God? Or are we going to choose to fully surrender and follow after God and pursue him no matter what else in the world is trying to distract us from? Because if we want to live a life that's glorifying and honoring to God, we have to pursue him with everything that we have, and we have to choose to follow his commandments, even if we don't like it at times. Um, but following God's ways is going to be far more beneficial and bless us than choosing to follow our own way or the things that distract us from the world. And so I pray that you would seek after God's things, seek after spiritual wealth, not worldly wealth that fade away Seek after spiritual wealth that will last for eternity, which is a deep, meaningful relationship with God, knowing him, talking with him, knowing his word and his truth so that we can live it out in our life every single day, all the way until the end of our life as we walk into eternity face to face with Jesus. Unfortunately, we're going to see that Solomon did not choose to do that, and that is a sad thing. But we have a choice to make, each and every single one of us in our lives. Are we going to be distracted by the things of the world? Or will we choose to follow Christ always, all the way to the end? I pray that you do. Have a good day.